What is more mesmerising than hearing the Bourbons are back or the fact that there's a new player in FIFA who's got 97 finishing and 57 balance and 99 heading accuracy? I'm not making this up. Quick question, what is the best biscuit to dunk into a cup of tea? Let me know. This player in FIFA has gone under the radar since Future Stars has released. He's not even a future star. This guy is incredible. And he's 30,000 coins. We're ready to unlock the legend, the mythical, rare, weekend league play himself, Yusuf N. Nezri from Sevilla. What a baller this guy is going to be. Will cost you only 30k, guys, to complete that SBC. And I reckon this card could be magnificent. Yusuf is here guys in my ultimate team. We're gonna add him to my newly created squad to try out in foot champions. The weekend league does not know how good this man is about to be with 57 balance. He's got high, high work rates. He's also six foot two with 99 heading accuracy. So from corners, this guy's gonna be lethal. 88 jumping, I mean, his stats are nuts across the board if you ignore his balance. He might fall over in a 1v1 situation, but if he somehow shoots, he might score with 97 finishing. He's got the speed dribbler trait, which is awesome, and I think he could be absolutely cracked in game. Obviously, one of the most important thing, guys, with this card is to get that balance increased. So 100%, I need to use the engine style. I could actually sell some of these styles maybe to get some future stars in this team. So the squad around Yusuf is ready to go. This team looks nuts. I wanted to create a squad that would just be more fun. And even with the latest patch, literally pushing you towards playing in like a slow paced possession style of play, which is not me at all. I wanted to try and, you know, not play to the meta. So we're going to go into weekend league with this squad raring to go. The formation guys in game I'm going to be using is the 4 triple 2 with Yusuf and Nezri there from Sevilla. The legend himself with 97 finishing and 99 heading at left striker. We're going to use... Cristiano Ronaldo as his strike partner as the right striker, and Sufati at right cam, Patrick Vieira and Camavinga in CDM. Are you guys like me in FIFA? You always set your captain as someone who was actually a good captain in real life. <laughs> I went with Patrick Vieira. Team is good to go. That awkward moment when you're really excited to play for champions and you realize you actually forgot to redeem the channel points. Channel points. I've been streaming too much, guys. The for champions qualification points for this weekend. So instead, we're going to go into the highest division in FIFA and see how good this amazing striker and mythical striker could be in Ultimate Team. I always say, guys, to make your game more fun, download the Spanish commentary, and apparently Dutch commentary is also very good. So if you do that, the game will be more fun. Why are we doing the intro again, EA? I've just installed the commentary, and I'm doing the whole intro again. <laughs> There we go, finally ready for the Spanish commentary. Look at that team. Like, that is genuinely nuts, isn't it? Oh my god, that team is absolutely ridiculous. It's weird that EA didn't announce they're going to release Man of the Match cards again, and we have this 86-rated Quadrado in pack, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a fun team. First game, oh my god. What the hell is that squad? Here he is, guys. Let's go, Yusuf. That might be the worst pass of all time. That really... Oh my god, the best save ever! <laughs> what is that? That's absolutely incredible. That's worth like 2 million coins, that save alone. Edison is the best keeper in the game, guys. Can confirm. Oh my god. Play Camavinga. There we go, Yusuf. Well played. Good balance. Oh no. Cristiano stealing the show. <laughs> great play by Yusuf, though. Great balance. Great balance. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Right. I'm going to try and target Yusuf here, guys, and see what happens, right? Going for that bit of a special custom tactic. And he nearly got it. Edison again has saved me there, guys. Wow, he is great. What a ball! 
Nah, that's actually broken. That is absolutely an amazing counter-attack. Great ball by Yusuf to Ronaldo, and then Ronaldo to, um, to Ansu Fati. Unbelievable skill move, Yusuf. That is clearly world-class. Look at this teamwork, man. Like, this is honestly sensational. Yusuf! Got to be scoring that, Yusuf. Got to be scoring that. You know what? Good fake shot, Yusuf. We're getting there. Great play. My left back, man, might be the best left back in the game. I'm not even joking. He's unbelievable. Look at this. Camavinga dominating this guy. He's free. Here we go. Straight to Yusuf. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, good save. Good save. We've done it. Yusuf, guys. Banging goal. I think we deserve that. We've played such good FIFA here. He is actually kind of cracked. Don't give it to him, though, on his right foot because he can't shoot. But give it to him on his left foot. He's got 97 finishing. With his right foot, it's more like 46. I thought the goalkeeper was about to get sent off, and then he didn't. I was like, what the hell? That might be my best ever performance in the new patch. Honestly, that was nuts. Yusuf was nice. Ronaldo was unbelievable. One goal for Ronaldo, two assists, one for Yusuf and Nezri from Sevilla. 3-0 win against this guy. Foot founder, ridiculously good squad. This goal was actually lovely. Like, really, really nice play there, man. Ball roll, always creates space, and a really cool finish at the end. Now, that is a great photo. <laughs> Kyle Walker, like, he's just... He's looking back there at Yusuf like... Oh no, that is a terrible mistimed tackle. The graphics are on point though. Yeah, Kai Walker, I don't think, was happy about losing that tackle. And from his perspective, banging goal. Good skill rating on that guy's old man, to be fair. So GG's, Division 1, highest division FIFA. Yusuf was awesome. Next game in Division 1. This guy has a Bamiyang. He's got Bruno Fernandes there. He's got Kante, Van Dijk, and next gen is that fast. I can't even get through the whole freaking team here. Can you please add some time onto the squad screen. Quick question before we get into my second game with Yusuf. What is your favorite ever SBC card you've completed and unlocked in FIFA history? Going back to FIFA 17 when SBCs first released, let me know. Mine might actually be the SBC Bernardo Silva from FIFA 20 or FIFA 19, whichever FIFA that was. Or player of the year Kante from FIFA 17. That was incredible! Oh my god! That fake shot and then Boro from Yusuf was lovely. We do get a bad rebound goal. I don't even know if he scored that. I think he did, but that was lovely interplay. Ronaldo and Yusuf, man, are actually an amazing partnership. They link up so well, and this is in Division 1, man, like the highest standard of FIFA there is. It's like playing for Elite 1. If this goes in, I will give away... 50,000 FIFA points to one of you guys watching this video right now. Leave a like to win as well and comment down below which console. Good goal, that. Uh, my defense just kind of stopped, but we got Yusuf, man. I'm telling you, he's going to do some crazy things in this game. Bridge. Well, look at that. Yeah, look, look at that. <laughs> The defending in this game is honestly non-existent. Good ball. Whoa! Did you guys see that? That's what's wrong with this patch, man. He's clean through. And he just stops. The game just dragged Yusuf back there when, honestly, like, there was no pressure around him. That's nice. That's really nice. What just happened there, man? That's lovely, Yusuf, man. 97 finishing, guys, with Yusuf. Brilliant, brilliant goal, Yusuf and Nezri. Unbelievable. Brilliant. Back in the game. I still don't get what happened then with uh, Yusuf prior to that, but that's nuts. Why is he just taking it from Yusuf? I was about to score. 
That is the level of goal we just conceded, guys. Oh my god, this game, bro. Bloody hell. To be fair, without bad defending for two or maybe three of the goals, we probably do win this game. Still, try to have as much fun as possible, right? I think overall, if he wins this game, the guys deserve to win. I'll be honest, I just think. Damn, if we just didn't defend as badly. GG's my man. 4-2 loss there, guys, with Yusuf. Still, good fun though. Trying to have as much fun as possible, even with this current gameplay. It's just kind of crazy. Defending is really non-existent. That was a lovely, lovely... Um, like interplay there, so nice goal eventually by Yusuf. 9.1 rating for Yusuf. GG's to this guy. He had a lot of shots, but they weren't all good shots. And I always say that people are like, oh, I've had 24 shots and 20 on target. Clearly, you haven't been clinical. Stop crying. <laughs> Watching this goal back, part of me is like, how did I actually score this? How did Yusuf score this goal? At this point, it's a really well worked goal. Just got past Koulibaly. Really shouldn't have, by the way. Like, EA should fix that. But good save. How I scored this. Like, at this angle. I thought that was going to be a goal there. Good save. But how have I scored that at that angle? <laughs> how has that got in? There's a deflection. Oh my god, this is so, so bizarre. Next game, another God Squad with Bruno Fernandes Team of the Year and again EA, you can't even see the squad after like five seconds. Amazing squad. But is it as amazing as Yusuf N. Nasiri from Sevilla? That is the real question. Look at that bridge, man. Unreal. What a bridge. You know when you don't press circle to tackle and you still concede a penalty? Why does this game do this? Got the ball! Oh, this is FIFA 21 gameplay these days. What a save. What a save. Come on! Oh, what a lovely pass that is, CR6. The easiest pass ever, and the game overdoes it. Such a good through ball from El Nasiri there, man, as well. Big save. Big save. Amazing there from Vieira, man, as well. What? <laughs> this gameplay is a joke. How has he not gone for a full shot then? Ice in my fucking veins. Come on! Look at that celebration on Next Gen. I brought Neymar on to get that goal and we got it on the last kick of the game. Every game is like this now. Possession, possession, possession. Slow paced. There's not much skill moves involved when Neymar goes and does that. What a goal. Next team, and he's got Neymar, flashback, CR6, Camavinga as well. Okay, this guy's going to be good, I can tell. I reckon he's going to be the best player we played yet today with Yusuf El Nezri. Go on. Why did Ronaldo stop? Oh, what a ball, Cristiano Ronaldo. For 97 finishing, Yusuf. You cannot be missing that with your strong foot, bro. Oh my god. In Division 1 as well. You've got to be scoring that. Good ball. Let's go. Bang. Assist, guys, for Yusuf as well. Straight to Eric Cantona. You know what? Yusuf on the series dribbling when he gets the ball is sensational. The amount of times he creates space for himself once he receives that ball is actually some of the best of use. I think he's really good at that. 99 heading accuracy, Yusuf. You are joking. The bridge is still here. Oh my god, that pass. Yusuf! Oh, what a goal! Come on! Amazing boxing technique as well. Absolutely cracked that goal in the top right corner. You know what? Haven't said this in the longest time. He absolutely twatted that goal in the top right, man. Unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. 
from Ed Nezru there, guys. Unreal. Give this man the ball in the 18-yard box. Top left, top right. He's going to bang it in. He's going to just smack that ball in. You know what? I'm going to bring on David Beckham to just whip some lovely crosses in. Then probably bring on Garincha for Cantona. And then that should be decent for Ed Nezru, guys, to get some, uh, you know, header goals in for the team. Header goals in for the team. Great, great sentence. That might be the worst shot I've ever seen. That is the best hack of all time. Oh my god. That was actually ridiculous, Patrick Vieira. What a win, man. Division 1 again, guys, with Yusuf and Nezri. Really interesting player. And he's been quality ever since he used him, to be fair. Another good match rating, man. A goal and assist for Yusuf. Pretty perfect pass, right? Straight to Cantona. Then we get the assist, man, with Yusuf and Nezri. What a banging finish that was, by the way. And then for the win, lovely through ball. I can't believe how just he smacked that goal in, man. His shot power there with, the, obviously, the engine style was fantastic. Really, really banging goal. And on next gen, these graphics are actually nice, aren't they? Big upgrade. Really good goal there by Yusuf. So, what is the final review of Yusuf and Nezri? There, guys, is his FIFA card, as you can see. This was the team I used Yusuf and Nezri in, guys, with my kind of main squad right now. It's just a bit of a fun team, isn't it? I mean, this, this guy as well was absolutely incredible. It's not often I would say, like, a new promo player is worth the coins. He feels like an icon. Kamavinga is crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. But this guy is the real star of the show. Four games, four goals scored in Division 1, which as you know, know now, to be honest, I think all of our records now in FIFA, we're going to score less goals going forward because it's such a slow-paced game now. That is actually a good record for Yusuf when he's been, you know, selling into the squad with his new teammates. The 97 finishing, you can tell he's got it with his finesse shot and obviously those power shots as you saw in the box as well. I would recommend doing him for 30k, to be honest. Even if you can do this SBC for like 5k, you've got yourself an 86 rated player, which maybe then you could potentially submit Yusuf into one of these panels here for the base or mid icon pack or the new 85 plus double rated player pack coming to FIFA. So if you can get this SBC guys done for really cheap, I would recommend it. It's a bit of a crazy card, obviously. And it's a fun item. It's a really fun new item that I've had a lot of fun using. You've got to give him the engine style, though. That's one thing I've got to say. His agility is okay, but you need to give him that increased balance. Alternatively, you would also probably be good using a hunter style or maybe a hawk chemistry style on Yusuf and Nezri. If you've got Zhao Felix and want to have a bit of a, you know, mad substitute to come late on in a game, maybe in weekend league, I'd recommend completing this card. The overall rating I'm going to give to Yusuf and Nezri, though, is a 7.4 out of 10. Flashback Ronaldo, I didn't give a rating to the other week. I would give him for value and also for how he performs in game, to be honest, a 9.4. I really think that card is also ridiculously good fun and for a good price. But yeah, for Yusuf, the real star today show, guys, has to be a 7.4. He'll be a good super sub, could be good SBC fodder. He's only 30k from scratch, so it's definitely worth doing even for SBC fodder for cheaper than that price. And he's fun to use in game. You do notice, oh, the balance. His balance is the big weak point there. He doesn't feel that agile on the ball. You've got to just give him the ball, do a ball roll, and then shoot. Then you probably get a goal. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this card, man. Very fun item, guys, in Ultimate Team. This new, just really weird FIFA card in FIFA 21. Hopefully you've enjoyed this big player review today. Leave a like for more, subscribe, and which player, guys, shall we review next?